We are about to check the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 trailer. Somebody checked it out for me. And they said, check this out. I've never played Kingdom Come. Um, but I just bought it. So maybe we might try it out. We'll see. I got a lot of games to play. 18. Might be right up my alley. Oh, the cobblestones. When it seems you're out of luck. Oh, this is this is how you do a promotion. There's just one man who gives a flower. Don't don't think you can say that in church, but go ahead. A friend will never leave you stuck. But now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. That's the main character, right? Though they motion captured actual Henry. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Now that's a catapult. Deep Silver. They've made a few games that I've played. War Horse Studios. I always dread oh, to he looks older. Place. Becoming more than a peasant. Becoming more than a peasant. the trouble with an adventurous life it can end before it gets started this game looks good it's always the bold guy congratulations tonight you finally become a man Wake up! Pull yourself together, Henry. Oh, here we go. Here's some gameplay. Damn. Nobody will hand anything on a platter to men like you and me. Still have a long way to go till your work is done. Oh, you can pet the dog. Nice. <laughs> they got guns. Yo, there's romance in the game too. Yo, this. Oh, merciful God, be kind and protect us, so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. <laughs> Wait, I know this area. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Kuttenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. Oh. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost Wonderful. exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally Six years? Released. So now Under it's my radar. opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. 
And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in the royal city Yo. of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us in a small office. Now only it's 11. 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG. Now that is really good that they brought up 200, over 200 plus people. But I'm kind of worried because because I'm if if that's true that it started with like less than 20 people, and now you have more people that I I hope they have, I hope their writers are set. Like you don't you don't need too many cooks in the ch uh, kitchen. But I think I think uh, we'll see. I have never played the game, so I I always get worried when they say now we got 1,000 people, and I'm like. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. To, to, to me, I like a lower amount of people. RPG Adventure. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on hey, his Hey, Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Right. Hands is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hands really helps him to do that. Whew. You're right about oh, you gotta stage. air, you gotta air the balls out. Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. But <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is boys being boys. what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The Good. game is much bigger in scope. Good. original game we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five Jeez. regarding the size of the world. It's two times bigger than it was the story is longer and much more epic so previously it was oh, a nice wedding and issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages now it's uh, about problems of kings this is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first in my opinion i think it's i think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and and trial and tribulation and this game looks fun that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going right let's see what you're made of this is going to be so much fun henry is a young guy so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different way. How so? It all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. Nice combo. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion. Yeah. And we want you to feel the sword in your hand. It seems like you can be evil. We'll see. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies on the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. As yeah. far as uh, missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows. Also, some early firearms. Early firearms. Kingdom Come feels like the good old school RPGs. It will always surprise like you what you can and cannot do. You no, know, you can be better in combat. You can be a. Look at all these neck beards. You know, you know that they are. There's some history buffs in with these guys, and these guys go in. Oh man, it, it, when when I search for good. 
like developers who are deep into their game these are the kind of people that i see old gray beer old dudes with beards or something that are just like hey man i eat a couple i i have four meals a day and i love video games and i'm like that's the guy that's the guy i want to make my make my game I, I don't want anybody with a with a with a hair bun. I don't want anybody with rainbow hair. I want somebody that looks like they they sleep for five hours and they love chicken. <laughs> Sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems. You can be a charming knight. You can be a thief. A you thief? Know, a scoundrel. Yo. Anything you do will be recorded. People will remember it. If they saw you do that. Our crime system will react to that. For example, when crime you are, system. I don't know, drunk. A crime system. Okay, there's there's a crime system in here. Um, you can become a thief. If you could become a thief, then how dirty can you be in this game? Can you be nightly? Can you be um, atheist? Can you be re re very religious? I wonder. Drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street, and now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. Nice. If you do a lot of criminal stuff around oh, the board, Martha. people will start to be suspicious, they will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into like greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. They got fucking mini games in this game. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm in. They got little dice games, bro. I'm going into this game, and I'm just like, hey guys, welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Let's play. And I'm gonna be on this mini game for two hours, rolling dice, trying to get paid. And chat's gonna be like, please, Mr. Hardcore Mode, please, for the love of God, fight something, kill something. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm almost, I, I almost got him, man. I got him. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> uh, uh, oh yeah, I want people who look so like they had a, a divorce for de de dedicating too much time to this game and none to their kids. <laughs> no, no, actually, these guys look like they really, they look like they dedicate their time to their kids, but not to their wives. <laughs> I, I feel like that's what it is. These type of people definitely look like they take care of their kids. You can pat the horse. You can, you can blacksmith and you can take care of your weapon and you can read. Wait, can you read in this game? I thought peasants weren't able to read. I, I guess you can later on. You can do alchemy. We are moving to different places. So one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really a beautiful nature Ooh. with uh, quite Full screen. Full screen. Back it up a little bit. Indian paradise. And it's really a beautiful nature of it. Uh, quite. Holy shit, that looks great. I need to see if there's any sway to the trees. I love it when trees move and have a wind effect toward, uh, with them. It unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban countryside yes. surrounding huge silver mining, very silver rich mining. city. So there's this big city. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us. And it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, you are really getting in a really one of good the richest looking city. cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's working his ass off. We'll see, we'll see. By the way, I think I'm going to do this from now on when it comes to trailers. I'm going to put it in the big screen. And uh, yeah, so you guys can see the thing. I apologize if I'm showing you a smaller screen. This doesn't look like my type of game besides. I'm waiting for the next gen update for Fallout 4 and Red De Redemption. Wait, wait. Red Dead 3? Ooh, man. You're gonna be waiting, what, 10 years? Maybe more? Fallout 4? Uh, yeah, that update is coming. 
we are trying to go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty medieval world, oh, yeah. dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine or on war. My favorite. It was really like colorful. Like uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environment. Holy shit. Holy crap, that looks amazing. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2? Wait, Red Dead Redemption 2 has an update coming up? I meant, like, players should go and explore all those, like, little woods and beautiful She looks like she's about to go to Hogwarts. Castles. The thing that I love about the game most is just wandering around. Because the nature is really beautiful, it's, it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. Wow, that's amazing. Is that the actual game? A killer score? Oh, music. music is big part of the game. Of course. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's also a genius. Ladies are killing it. Beautiful. You cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create oh, something unique. This guy's rocking. This guy's just rocking the coats. He he's just showing off at this point. He's just like coming outside and be like, Yeah, so we're making a video game. Make sure that you pre-order and and like the screen and we'll see you later let's go boys this is a man that you can trust in war it will be released by the end of this year see you in kcdt oh 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 wonderful i'm in i'm sold i'm in i'm sold that's great i i, I we, I got Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. We'll play it later. We'll play it later.